What's the deal with Albedo? So originally, I wanted to get this video out during Albedo's banner, but I thought it'd be better if I released this as patch 2.3 comes to an end. I'll be talking about Albedo and how the community kinda did him dirty, and I'll probably touch a little bit on the state of Geo too. So let's start with a simple question. Is Albedo a good character to have in your team? Well, the short answer would be yes, but then, why did everyone skip him when he first came out? To answer this, we first have to look at the banner before him, Zhongli's banner. Unfortunately for our boy Albedo, he came hot off the trails of Zhongli. Bear in mind, when Zhongli was first released, he was a massive disappointment. Zhongli was the Geo Arkin, a character that was so hyped up but ended up having a weak shield, weak attack damage, and a burst that looks cool but didn't do as much numbers as you would think. So when you have an unsuspecting Geo boy with not much backstory yet, little info, and an elevator being your main attraction, best believe the masses weren't convinced in investing any more Geo characters. Another thing to talk about is the way Albedo was marketed. His marketing was underwhelming compared to Zhongli's at least. After the disastrous launch of Zhongli, Albedo had to face the consequences. Mihoyo learned their lesson and came clean, making Albedo's support role the main focus instead of flashy damage numbers. Well, not exactly numbers, it's just that they marketed Zhongli as a DPS when clearly he wasn't. I think this turned a few people off, mostly the meta slaves, because they couldn't flex their damage per screenshot. Personally, I love the support characters. Also, every DPS needs a good support, right? And Albedo is solid in that aspect. Albedo had all the tools to be the ultimate support from the start. I, I mean, other than healing. In fact, in patch 1.5, Geo as an element got buffed. It was just all the more reason to get him. Alas, people just saw his potential a little bit too late, and lo and behold, people were waiting for his rerun. From ludicrous tick damage to spammable alts, he could be the perfect member to fill in your sub DPS or support role. So, why is Albedo underrated? Bear in mind that this was in patch 1.2, Back when Geo as an element was deemed garbage by the masses, Zhongli's mess of a release and Ganyu being right after Albedo's banner did not help. So yeah, basically no one paid attention to our lonely little alchemist. That is until the English voice actor Koi Dao started being funny in a game of Among Us. Welcome to hell, bitch! And caught the attention of the community. Attention to Albedo slowly started accumulating and eventually turned people dedicated enough to do their damage showcases. For I mean, at least for the few people who owned him. From there, people realized that Albedo wasn't sh. He was a sh. So Albedo, when it comes to being in battle, he can. I won't suggest, but he can be the DPS, but his true potential lies in being a support. His E, Solar Estoma, also known as the Elevator, deals tick damage that scales off of his defense stat. With this ability, transient blossoms appear that deal damage every 2 seconds. It only takes 4 seconds to redeploy, so if you're really mechanically gifted at action games and can nail the timing right, you can cancel certain cooldowns intervals to maximize your damage output. Uh, it's not exactly necessary, but a pretty neat trick to pull off and can be helpful in the abyss when damage output is the priority. But that isn't the best part. Albedo is also one of the rare 5 stars who can benefit from a 3 star weapon, namely the Harbinger of Dawn, which ups your crit damage when your HP is above 90%, and considering you only pop him out for his E, I guess you can say this is... <laughs> stonks? 
In the patch 2.3, we were gifted Albedo's signature sword, the Cinnabar Spindle, I hope I said that right, which is specifically made to fit his playstyle. Obviously. <sighs> However, for those who missed the event, the Harbinger of Dawn will still do a good job for you. Aside from his weapons, his artifacts are also relatively easy to farm. All of his abilities scale off of defense, so like... Uh, okay, so I can't say much because at the end of the day, artifacts are all RNG. But I think it's a lot easier to get defense stuff than getting attack percentages. Okay, never mind. No, who am I kidding? It's horrible. I hate it. My Albedo likes in so much quicker. For team comms, I would always suggest having another Geo character be paired up with him, simply because of how good the Geo resonance is, and I just think it's fun to watch enemies die from the Geo construct pulses. In my opinion, I think Albedo can be paired up with almost anyone and still work well thanks to his god tier consistent damage. Now let's talk about his constellations. Albedo on his own is very good, but he has room to be better with further constellations. Uh, same goes to everyone, I guess. His C2 allows you to further buff your ult with additional damage scaled off your defense stat, and seeing as defense was the main priority of his build anyways, this is just mega stonks. His C4 is a godsend for Xiao mains and for any character who does a lot of plunge damage, when E is present, all plunge damage inside of the ability radius gets buffed by 30%. So when you pair this with Xiao's ult, you're just getting that massive big PP damage. So that's what I think of Albedo as of now and why why he went through what he went through. It's nice to see that people are appreciating him more now and the Geo family as a whole. I Personally, I love him as a character a lot. I wish I could talk about him more, but honestly, I wish I could talk about a lot of things more. But I think this video has gone long enough. I would love to hear your thoughts about this video or on anything that I could improve on. But anyway, as of, uh, anyway for now, thanks for watching and take care.